What is up, draw classers? What is up, draw classers? We're back again with more. Nope, that's Secret Sleepover Society. Hold on. What? Nope, that's the webcam. Hold on. Hold on. There we are. Wow. We're back again with more. You've done it. <laughs> what did you just do? Uh, <laughs> I was just switching between my scenes and in Streamlabs, okay. and I clicked the wrong ones three times in a row. For a brief moment, I thought you were streaming to the wrong place. <laughs> no, I'm streaming to the right place. <laughs> Woo! Everyone the just got minimum. to see. Uh, you did it. <laughs> got to see the secret sleepover overlay. Oh, that's fine. And then the <laughs> webcam view of my whole room. And now we're both here. Woo! <laughs> we made it. We did it. <laughs> For another absolute banger draw class i'm sure what can go wrong i'm on the right mic right yes yeah <laughs> yeah you sound good to me Woo. so that's that's good i've got a cat that's good yeah that's great so we're off to a pretty killer start i'd say yeah. uh so what's our numbers looking like gonna let people file in we've currently got six Nice. <laughs> Which is pretty low. Yeah, but we are doing a fresh, fun, new schedule for this month and probably next month because it's holiday time. And you know what? <laughs> yeah, we're it's doing our best. You, we're doing our best here. <laughs> we got our own stuff to deal with, too. Yeah. My my backdrop is all different because I have company right now. So I had to cluster all of my furniture to one side of the room because I'm a nice person. <laughs> is this like a joint office situation now? Huh? You like making <laughs> office space? No, like mattress space. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Just shove your company in the closet yeah, with yeah, a mattress. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they showed up before I had put the air mattress out and they were like, so I sleep on the floor? And I was like, well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, you're not a monster. <laughs> Unless you're into that. I yeah. don't know. It's like, yeah, just find an empty space on the floor. Yeah, get comfy. <laughs> There's a rug. You're welcome. <laughs> you can use it as a blanket or a mattress, but not yeah. both. Whatever you see fit. I mean, you could just like <laughs> roll it up. <laughs> burrito yourself in there. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. We might just have a a, a, a real small cozy one, one today, a cozy one. Yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot of uh, collaboration on this one because it's been a busy month um, and a busy week specifically. So. I have some things prepared and not others. I can't wait to see what things are which. I honestly, can I be completely honest? Um, yeah, you can. As as we know, it's actually Nathan's turn this month, but at the last minute, um, the schedule was all fucky-wucky, so I took over, which is great. And um, I didn't know what to teach, and I think I think Jacob, you're the one who pitched. Uh, Let's fix it in post as the as the theme. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, like that's great. That sounds great. Let's do that. And then I just kind of sat on that, like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be a real freeform one, um, just covering a lot of miscellaneous shit. <laughs> yeah. And we can do we can do an audience section too. I guess I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I feel like there's lots of stuff we do, like different stuff for each of us, like yeah. sort of at the end of a piece, where you're just like slapping stuff on. That gives it you that love slapping stuff on that little extra. Yeah, punch. let's take let's let's cut out let's carve out a good thirty minutes of this draw class to just like <laughs> fuck around with adjustment layers, please. Yeah, we could definitely do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people always yeah. want to know about how those work. <laughs> so this one won't be like as super focused. I think it'll just kind of be touching on a lot of miscellaneous things. It's like an art class if it was a series of vignettes that 
are kind of related. Like they have some of the same characters, but they're not completely one story. Yeah, it's gonna be like Love Actually. <laughs> it's gonna be like Love Actually, except except good. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of yeah. the class, all the vignettes will tie together in a yeah. way that you didn't expect. Yeah, in a way that <laughs> shames women. I don't know, whatever they do in Love Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to be comfortable by the end, but it will all tie together. Yeah. Also, hey, is this our first draw class together? It is. This is wow. our inaugural one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and no one's here to see it, so we can do as bad as we want. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know. I I, like put something weird on my canvas without even realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should I share screen? Yeah, go ahead. I realized that was something I could just do. <laughs> it's free for you to do at any time. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's fix our art. Or something. Fix it um, in post. I, I wrote a bunch of notes for myself, so at least I wouldn't stammer for two hours straight. And this one's called, okay, let's fix it in post. Refining your art from the sketch up. We'll see if that's even what I accomplished today. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> and then I have three bullet points that have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> there you go. And I didn't have much time to prep any visuals. So we're going to see how that goes. You can do the um, visuals in real time, live yeah, visuals. Yeah, if nothing else, I, I pulled up a, a drawing I did that I thought wasn't that good. So we can we can fix it together. In post. Um, in post. <laughs> <laughs> I fix everything in post. Post it's is like, the best time. You know what time. they say, there's no time like the present to not solve your problems. <laughs> <laughs> do it all at the end. Yeah, do it later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I can only do so much. I'm tired. Yeah, I got Animal Crossing to play. Raymond needs more houses. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Forza Horizon 5 and race my little cars around Mexico. <laughs> I don't want to fix my art. Are you playing Forza? Yes. How is it? It's great. I love those games. Oh, cool. I didn't know. <laughs> They're fun. Um, okay. Well, shall we Shall we vroom vroom get going like yes. a car through Mexico? <laughs> yes, just like a car through Mexico. <laughs> In Forza Horizon 5. Yeah, that's going to be the ongoing metaphor yeah. of the stream. Yeah. Life is a highway like in they the have in Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, with cars. <laughs> Go fast into the first point of the lecture. Um, I guess I guess my starting point is line work because um, I feel like people struggle with line work and you and I are good at line work. I, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know if I'm that good at line work, but you're good at line I think work. You are. We're, we're good at line work in we're different good at ways. Line, yeah, we're like the line work spectrum. Yeah, we <laughs> represent the whole realm of possible line works. <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I see a lot of people just always uh, being like, "How how do you do line work that's you know not kind of stiff, not kind of shaky, etc." And um, and people always being like, how do you or I don't know if this is like I'm pretty sure this is just a common sentiment, but just like going from sketch to line art. Um, how do you keep that energy yeah. sort of thing? Because I feel like a lot of artists will kind of like sketch something and be like, oh, this has like such a like energized quality to it. But when I ink it, like it's it stiffens up, you know. Yeah, totally. So I'm gonna try and articulate about that. Uh, what do I what do I have here? There's those like, memes online that are always like my sketch, my line <laughs> art, and then it looks like absolute uh, I, dog I have ass. A sketch. What is this? Okay. And I always want to say like it doesn't. <laughs> I want to yell that doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way, and it's not. It's not as bad as you think it is. Totally. Uh, I I sketched this thing um, at I some point it. in the past day, uh, 
I, it, it's a real struggle right now. So this is what I got. It's <laughs> I a wanted great to sketch. drop something for Nando's birthday. This is a younger Nando with his with his kid. <laughs> Saving but, his um, child from yeah. falling out a window? I don't know. Jumping out something. a window? <laughs> she just fell and he did like a whole action pose because I felt like it. <laughs> That's art, baby. It would, it would make more sense if I bothered drawing a setting but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Who cares? This tells you yeah. all you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a lacking thing because I did want to touch like on background working in this one. And then I like put off doing the visuals for that. So I have none, but we'll get there. Yeah. Um, right now I wanted to, to talk about line art, I guess, because, uh, everyone will be like, oh my God, my sketch is so dynamic. But when I do the line art, I just don't like it as much. And um, I I do feel the need to point out two things in that. Uh, well, the first thing being um, is that it's, it's all mind tricks, baby. <laughs> Because um, when you have a really loose sketch like this, like this is a little refined, but it's still very loose, like especially in the body shapes. But um, when you have all these like spare lines, like eh, and, like all of this shit, um, your brain is filling in the gaps of like, you know, because there's all these lines, none of them are the line. So your brain is just like, oh, well, um, I have all these lines to choose from. So maybe like, hello, like this is the one I like. So I'm going to pretend to see that. Yeah. So when you're looking at your sketches, like your brain's just kind of like picking what it wants to see. Cause the human brain's just real good at like making shit up. Um, so that's why when you finally commit to one line, sometimes it's kind of like really jarring and like, ah, eh. it's because you don't have those choices anymore, but you just got to do it. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Don't listen to your own mind. Yeah. It's fooling your brain. You. Your brain's just being like, well, I want to see this line, but then, but then you'll like put a different line and it'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> But no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> I don't like that one. Do a different one. <laughs> and then you do a different one. It's like, I don't like that one either. I like having 40 lines. Cause yeah. Cause when you have like, you know, this, so say, say you've got like, wah, wah. like this isn't really like, like you don't know which one is the line. Yeah. It just gives you an impression. Yeah. Your brain, it's just like you said, your brain figures out. Yeah, your brain which figures line it, it likes. out, does it, and then then you go over and you pick like the line, and suddenly it's like, wait, that looks different than I thought it did. Yeah, well. Because this is real and that was fake. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, I, I just wanted to make the point of like, uh, if you ever feel that way, like that's normal, but also like, don't, don't overthink it. You gotta, like, if you want to do just like solid line art, you gotta do some, some level of commitment, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I figured I'd try lining this piece. I don't know. <laughs> Live. Who, who, uh, why? <laughs> Because I didn't prepare it ahead of time. Well, this is part of the the process. Yeah, this is part of post. Choose, you got to choose what lines you want, and you got to choose what information that you like do and don't keep. Because I don't know about y'all, but I like doing anatomy, and so when I draw characters, I always do like full body, non clothed. Like I need to know where everything freaking goes, and um and then in in post you got to cover up so much of it it's such a shame i think i have a separate one that's a good example of that i also drew a schmidt uh and this whole canvas is flipped cool but yeah because this one like oh yeah i i didn't actually design the outfit yet 
but I I did just like fully draw like the body. Yeah, so you I'm can just, see like, it under there. Yeah, because that's important information for me to have. I just hit my microphone, but um, I'm just gonna switch back to this brush because I like it. But because you know you have all of the shapes of the anatomies, so that it's like nice and easy to see. But when you actually put the clothes over it, you're gonna cover most of it. Yeah, but you can use that anatomy to see how those clothes would would fall. Yeah, because then you get a more convincing a result. Bit of a fold here and a bit here. Um, yeah, if he's wearing like kind of a cape thing, it's gonna fall this way. Because of gravity. Yeah, but then it's gonna cover that nice arch of the back. I do always hate that. <laughs> yeah, just like I like that shape. Not anymore. You can kind of see in my sketch that I did like do a version where it's cut specifically to frame the arch <laughs> of the back because I'm so, I'm so, ugh, I did all that work and for what? <laughs> gonna stick with that. But yeah. One of those high backed coats. Yeah. Oh no, because I thought it would be like a cape cut. So that would be like, woo. And another thing I just wanted to highlight in line art is that if you feel like your line art is kind of like, like you're not having a lot of like variation that you want, or it's kind of like wobbly. Um, and this goes back, this is gonna, a lot of, I'm gonna reference back a lot of like classes we've already done. And this one goes back to my always insisting that you do you draw with your whole arm. You gotta, you gotta find, cause I, I know it's not, not all people can draw with their whole arm, which is fine, but you gotta find a way to get that gesture in so that, you know, instead of like this, you're doing this. It's yeah. just a fun, nice line. It's a good way to get those nice, wow. You get some character in there. Yeah. I feel like people, um, you know, often ask like how you start drawing with your whole arm. And it's it's always just been you just have to like practice it. Yeah. Like when so you first start art, doing it, it's wild. You just like are so much of art is just fuck around and find out. <laughs> totally. That's exactly what it is. Because <laughs> I remember but, when um... I first found out about drawing that way for to get smoother lines, it took me like a really long time before I could actually do it. I'd have to like make the same line so many times in a row before yeah. I got the right one. But the more you do it, the the quicker you get to that, that right line out the gate. Yeah. And because I feel like the way I learned it was kind of a combination of, of I was an animation major in college. So a lot of that, you know, like, you know, uh, drawing classes where you're drawing figures and stuff, a lot of it's done very fast. And then, uh, I, I don't remember this much, but I definitely feel like this was a part of it. In high school, I took a drawing workshop with one of my drawing teachers from my high school, and um, he had us do the most bonkers like <laughs> exercises uh, for figure drawing, just to kind of like teach us, uh, like to get really like dynamic and energized uh, with our with our drawing. Um, the one I remember the most is because we did all of our drawing like standing up and then one of them we would pair off and then um, one person wouldn't be drawing. They would be blocking the model like football style <laughs> and they're just like <laughs> and so the other person has to be moving like a lot. <laughs> That's so funny. To, like, yeah. To like get like see the model and then like put the line down. So it yeah. was like a game, <laughs> but um, it's always, you know, start by, you know, doing some drawings standing if you can. Let's see, you know, loosen up like like you're like a sport. But yeah, yeah get into so. it. I do wish I had a, a like an adjustable desk for that reason. So I could yeah do some stand up drawing. <laughs> How to get on that standing desk shit. Yeah, my stuff, all my wires and stuff are not ready for that. That's fair. I'd have to get like a bunch of new longer wires. Cable management. <laughs> I hate it. Which is why but, I yeah. don't do it. So if you're ever feeling like, oh my God, I'm not, 
pleased with like my ability to like draw a line uh just reflect you know while you're drawing are you drawing solely from your wrist like where where is the movement coming from because like you know it's just that it's that is it like that even if I'm like overshooting, I always want to do like these big sweeping lines because I feel like they have such a lovely arc to them. Yeah, totally. And okay, I, I feel like that nice back arc in there. Maybe a I lot of people it. don't oh. consider as well that like when you watch like, you know, you inking or me inking, you'll mm -hmm. see that in almost every line we make, we like overshoot the target in order to get yeah. the sweeping line. Like it's okay to doing it right now <laughs> yeah it was, you were perfectly doing an example without realizing but um it's, just... it's like constantly doing that because <laughs> you want to get the big smooth line you can always erase the excess mm -hmm. and then keep the portion of the line you want making sure i got my eyes on draw class okay uh, but yeah so yeah you're always going to end up omitting information as you're fixing up a drawing and tightening it up. And that's fine. Um, that's just part of art, baby. It sure is. So rip, rip all my good back arcs. But yeah. You still know they're there. I'll always know they're there. Um, it really is just like such a struggle to have like all this information because I do a lot of underdrawing in mine. Um, and then so much of it gets taken out of the final because you just can't like, uh, you just can't keep everything in. So for example, if I was to do his, his, his torso, he's got the nice cleave so that I know where his titties are but you don't, you aren't really gonna see that. Important to know though. It's important to know, but you can't always keep it in. So you can kind of hint by doing that. The clothing is going to twist over it. Um, here's the collar of the shirt about. Yeah, watch me be like, oh yeah, look at all these lines and then just put a line in a completely different spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love art. <laughs> well, sometimes that's like what the lines, like that's the information you get from your sketch yeah. is knowing that where you actually need the line is not there. Yeah. You can like see it and know that it's not quite right. Yeah, you'll get there. It's all just like information you're giving yourself and then yeah, so condensing kind it. Pulling around the neck. This is also my crash course in like, clothing folds i don't know how to do clothing folds i just make it up and i'm told i've done good <laughs> yeah i feel like if you kind of get the the gist of it you can just sort of extrapolate that knowledge yeah. onto like everything it's like i said a lot of art is brain mind tricks uh i just realized i had chat covered but um uh because you know your brain will always try to like make patterns and stuff uh, a good example is um at at my room at my parents house uh i wanted i wanted wallpaper but no one wanted to commit to wallpaper because that's a big that's a big fucking hassle yeah uh to put up so instead i and this was back in the day this was in like 2012 so i made a stencil of the pattern on the wall from BBC Sherlock. So I, <laughs> I made a stencil myself and I cut it out. And then my mom did the stenciling on the wall. It was our collab. And so it looks really nice. It's just a black and white accent wall with this like fun pattern. But the thing with stenciling, especially with that many like stencils, is that, you know, the paint builds up over time. So there's parts where like, the pattern is thinner and thicker and it's like bled out yeah but the thing is is that if you just look at the wall your brain will just assume it's all the same so you're not even going to notice that there's these like small discrepancies unless you're really thinking about it right yeah. so that kind of goes for whatever so you just kind of need to approximate everything you know like totally. of course you should learn how to do things <laughs> But I'm just saying, you can lie. <laughs> yeah. In art. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I mean, that's why it's, you know, like the conventional knowledge that sort of like 90% of your piece is, is done in like sort of the sketch phase. Yeah. Because you like, you have all the big shapes, you have all the gesture, you've got like everything in that makes up the piece at that time. Yeah. And then everything else is just sort of like set dressing. Yeah. From... The good thing about having all of this wild gesture is that you can kind of use that to inform, you know, like clothing movement and stuff. And then that'll kind of keep the same quality in without being quite so sketchy, I think. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Let's get it nice and and when you get those nice line shapes too like on the back of that sleeve where the line you know gets mm -hmm. thicker towards the middle like towards where the force of the movement is like pulling towards mm -hmm. the lines like sort of keep that action feel yeah which is why it's nice to have that loose loose full body drawing yeah and so Man, gotta cover his fucking back arch too. Rip all these good back arches. <laughs> You're the one who gave him a big flowy shirt. But I wanted I wanted to show that he was like moving backwards. This is why I dress all my characters in like at least one baggy thing so I can do these big sweeping lines to be like, no, no, look, look, he's moving, he's moving. He's moving. Can't you he tell? Did it. <laughs> Yeah. Can't Look at you the tell? shirt. There's your clue. Yeah, it's going whoosh. You can kind of see his back right here. I don't know if you can hear, but one of our cats is digging like crazy in the litter box right now. <laughs> I can't hear, but okay, I want to imagine. <laughs> it seemed like yeah. she was just getting louder and louder and louder. Where's Put a little going? line here, because that'll indicate the spine, since I have to hide the spine under this shirt. Uh... Right, no, actually, no, you don't see the back at all because it's covered by arm. That's arm. My bad. <laughs> I love <laughs> being a messy sketcher. Can't even read my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can fix tangents. <laughs> I moved this up a little bit. You can see, actually, because if the back goes like that, Nah, you can barely see the back. Oh, you you just want to have your little bit of back in there. Well, I care. I care <laughs> the back. <laughs> um yeah. I feel I feel like people are kind of scared to just do a lot of underdrawing sometimes. You should love underdrawing. I love underdrawing. I mean, yeah, it's great. Yeah. One thing that I like about your process that I want to do more of is not being afraid to just like take a bit I've inked, crank down the opacity and just ink over it again. <laughs> like be like, yeah. this this ink is a sketch actually. Everything is um, temporary until I say it's not. <laughs> yeah. You can always like, just like redo this bits This is line pieces. art, but it's also a sketch. This is just me being like, oh, well, <laughs> uh, I, I don't actually line art anything. That's how we're different, Jacob. Yep. Uh, this whole section's a mess because he's doing some real, because that's his clav. He's doing some complicated neck shit. Yeah, got to have a bit, got to have a bit as a treat. But yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm always you... envious of loose inking styles. <laughs> I, I love staying loose, but also it makes coloring so much more tedious. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so uh, count your blessings, sir. There's pros and cons to, to, each, everything. to everything that you choose to do in yeah. art. I did, I did write a little note here. That's there's no rules for how refined things need to be. It's just whatever you feel is right. So this is always right for me. I think it is just like my tendency to like um, keep things loose because I do like like that energetic uh, feeling from sketches. But 
my sketches are also incredibly messy since since I'm like so scatterbrained with this draw class, we can I, I have some like uh pieces that I can I can show the full walkthrough and why I did everything in them. Yeah. So, and you can see how nasty my sketches always are. I mean you can see those on a regular basis. They never get better. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. A, another thing that I could work on too is not over overdoing the sketch phase. I tend to like sketch until it's exactly what I want. There's like no <laughs> ambiguity left. I think I think it just depends on what kind of artist you are because um I was watching this thing uh there was a series that Shonen Jump did where just like every artist um does like uh I don't know, it's like a artist highlight they do like a speed draw for a special piece so i have mm -hmm. the kazuki takahashi one the Yu-Gi-Oh artist mm -hmm. and his process is like also very chaotic he'll do just like a uh, full-blown just like na nasty <laughs> like sketching like everything's thick and chunky <laughs> and then he'll just go in and like place the lines exactly where they're gonna end up being that's despite so crazy all of that and i'm just like that's how i want to be so you know yeah there's there's not like a right or wrong way to do these things yeah but you'll kind of find certain strategies that work best yeah. for you because i i feel like i feel like i'm really uh i make up a lot of my line art in uh, as I'm doing it, uh, like I am right now. <laughs> but I also tend to keep my line, like I do my line art very similar to how I do uh, the actual sketch. But yeah, something like this. I don't know. Looks good to me. Thanks. Yeah. And that's, so you can kind of see. That's like the original with all this shit everywhere. And then that's what it's going to look like over time. It looks great with this brush. Thanks. I love this brush. <laughs> Is this that Mameo brush? Yeah. All the Mameo brushes are like so good. <laughs> it looks like it says in Japanese, Inka. Oh, it so makes sense. Mameo Inker. There you go. If I just see any Mameo brush, I just download all of them. They're all free. <laughs> if you use Clip Studio, check out the Mameo brushes. Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I don't have a plan here, so we're just going to pick this piece apart because I like it. Yeah. So I'm going to make you all look at it again. This was my Halloween piece. Oh, this one rules. Um, thank you. I liked this one. And this one I have, I, I love to do this thing where um, I just delete my sketch layers as I go. <laughs> so, so many of my drawings, I just obliterated the sketches like <laughs> live, like as I was doing it, no they don't evidence. exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, but this one I didn't. So we can we can pick apart how I made it. And then we can see um, all the post things. Yeah. This is the original sketch for this one. Oh, wow, the leggy. The leggy. <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out what like this this circle was. It looked like a tail. It's a pumpkin. As you can see, I didn't <laughs> I didn't go through with my original background. I didn't do a background. <laughs> um, I think I wanted to have them like sitting in a graveyard, and then I was like, that's hard. Yeah. But yeah, this was my original, just like working the pose out sketch, and um, and then this it was my second one where I kind of started blocking in the outfit and tightening up like where where things go. So you can kind of see like hands moved, legs moved, but yeah. So that's that's where I land. And that's that's my second sketch. And where is the uh, let me let me undo all this shit. Get it all out. Sick of you. Where the what the hell? Uh what are so many what did I do? Um But yeah, so I've moved it slightly. 
oh, it's because I use brushes for like half of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so this was my line art. And uh, as, as you can kind of see, nope. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, there we go. I feel like it's important know. to say that most of the time when we interact with these files, we do so thinking we'll never open them again. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave like a wasteland. It doesn't we, matter. We have PSDs available to our patrons, right? Yeah. Okay. So you know. Yeah. If you've <laughs> you looked, know what my files are like. <laughs> if you've looked, then you've seen. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been naming anything lately, but I also have a very specific way I name everything. So even in the line art, I moved like Nando's hand, uh, got moved down here <laughs> somehow. <laughs> it fits better there. Yeah, it. it I agree. Um, I didn't even finish this hand. That might have been another sketch layer, and I just deleted it. <laughs> um, the leg uh, went up a lot, uh, and I turned it. It used to be you were seeing the underside of the foot, and then I like fully just said, nah, not today. <laughs> um, and even this leg kind of shrunk a little. I was just fixing everything. But yeah, it's all, it's, I just figure it out. This shoe actually changed a little because originally it was more this shape and then I had it uh, flex the other direction. So that is how I went from sketch to whatchamacallit, line art. Um, and these are colored because I just did them using effect brushes because I can do that now. <laughs> yeah, that's another little uh, post post trick. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm sick of drawing stitches. Someone else do it for me. And this is just like my flat colors. So uh, I feel like my art style is very flat and and when I said when I said earlier, like oh, some people don't realize how much like uh, underdrawing. I, I feel like when people look at like my art, because um, when I see people kind of try to do things in my style, I feel like they don't realize how much underdrawing there is because it's a fucking mess down there. But uh, once I clean everything up, it looks very flat. So uh, yeah, uh, that's just an observation I made. It's it's not a criticism of anyone. It's just yeah. an observation. But yeah. So what are what are all my layers? I have no idea what this layer is. What is this? It's I don't nothing. think it's anything. I think it's just it's there. An, it's an empty layer, <laughs> Karina. <laughs> Idiot. Just okay, leave it. Let it this? live. Oh, this is my blurry line. I've been doing the blurry line thing constantly. It looks um, nice. Yeah. We love the blurry line. Yeah. So this is how I usually do everything. I just draw it. I, I sketch a bunch. I do a line art layer. And then I flat it in with just like, these are the colors and like, like th what the colors are supposed to be. And that's when I'm just like, okay, let's get real wild. Because uh, for me, an important thing to do is a lot of just like lighting and stuff. Um, this kind of harkens back to my color and value class as well as Julia's composition class. You know, everything's about intent. Uh, so, you know, I, I wanted this to be a full scene. Obviously I didn't end up doing the extended background I thought would be cool to do, but like, you know, you gotta, you gotta make it look nice, but also not distract from the point. Yeah. So uh, what is this? Okay, this is just an overlay layer uh here come the adjustment layer guys so um one thing i do is i i use overlays um and this is kind of like like a gentle overlay it's at 41 opacity to kind of tie the colors a bit more together i couldn't explain to you what an overlay layer does but um it does have to do with kind of like adding you know like leveling out the colors a bit so i always I, I use a lot of warm palettes. So this is kind of like a dull red overlay to kind of make everything a bit warmer because there's, you know, blues and greens in here. So yeah. Yeah, I think overlays, like if you had like the picture printed out and then you yeah. took like a transparent, like 41% transparent slide <laughs> of a color, 
and just like laid it on top of your picture. That's like basically uh, what the overlay does. Isn't that more like a multiply? An overlay is like a lighting thing. It could be. I could be wrong. There we go. They're they're I all like you lay something over your picture. Yeah. And then do different something. things. Um, I'm just gonna say now that like you just need to try out different adjustment yeah. layers. <laughs> like you'll learn what they do. Like maybe you're like us and you can't fully articulate what they'll do, but you'll learn what works for you. Totally. And we can talk a bit more about that later. <laughs> um but yeah, so then I wanted it to have like, I figured it would be at nighttime. So then I put like a blue multiply to kind of like, you know, put that screen over it and have a, actually, this might just be the same thing. They sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Again, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I liked how this looked. I wanted to have a bit of like, uh, I don't even know what kind of lighting this is. It's rim lighting, but there's a lot kind of bouncing onto the parts that are in shadow as well. I don't know, but um, yeah, just cause I wanted, you know, I wanted them to look a bit more voluminous. So I did that and then I liked it so much that I duplicated it to make them darker. <laughs> uh, and here's a fun one. What is this? Oh, these are just white highlights. Little highlights, uh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have the good white highlights. Um, especially over like, I love to put like a lot of white highlight in the eye. I feel like that adds a lot of life to characters and, um, it's always nice to have like the white of the eyes kind of like tinted or like not quite white. And then you have like that white highlight. It looks so shiny. Makes them pop. Yeah. It's another another thing I think I, I think I talked about in my color and value class is that if you don't use a lot of white, um, it uh, it just looks so much nicer when you do. It pops like crazy. So let's let's see what I got because then then I throw in a background. I said fuck that pumpkin shit. Um, not literally, Jacob, but um, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry I had an opening <laughs> but um I was just like well I wanted them to be kind of like nighttime spookies uh but uh this is also like you know the value of this is kind of like dark do I have it yes so um I kind of wasn't sure this is very mid-range so far so I kind of wasn't sure how to approach this I either have to go really light or really dark so the first thing I did was put down this gradient that I thought was pretty. And I was like, this isn't right though. So then I um, put just a different color, kind of like slightly, slightly opacity. This isn't even a multiply layer. It's just a normal layer. And um, yeah, so I thought, I thought that looked better the you know it it's slightly darker it's dark enough that i needed to but then I'm, i'll deal with that later i liked i liked this color scheme because it has all the nice purple yeah and then uh this is just some candy i used from some brush i downloaded <laughs> candy brush yeah it's the candy brush it really is it's a, it's a really pretty brush it was free <laughs> And then I put this, this is just like a stock background. It's like a cloud overlay. So it's like, you know, nighttime. And then um, I, I put like this moon that will kind of act as sort of a light source, kind of. Uh, plus it also like gives a nice contrast to that hand, which is like the darkest value. And right. since the top of the background is the, you know, darkest area, I, I wanted to, you know, not have that whole hand touching the, the dark area. So it gives, it gives it a nice, nice room to like contrast. <laughs> and then because, because I said, fuck it, let's cop out. I added like a little, little border. Since this is like a very graphical kind of like cutesy image, I was like, just stick a dang border in there. <laughs> Who cares? I added this kind of late in the game, but it does add just like a bit more separation between the characters in the background. 
so that you're not really like losing them just in purely in a value sense. So I always like to boop out the, the lines and you can kind of see, you know, at a glance, yeah, values, values seem nice. Nothing, nothing sinking like too much. Yeah. You can differentiate where the characters are. And then my last thing was, uh, if this is a glow dodge layer, um, where I just whooped and it kind of like brightened everything up and there's a bit of a gradient, uh, this is at 41 opacity, but if you turn it way up, it's you can kind of see where the gradient really are. eye searing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really <laughs> sometimes adjustment layers are scary because they look like crazy eye searing when you're like have them full blast. But when you when you turn them down a bit, they're actually quite nice. Um so there there's some gentle gradation around like the moon since that's the light source i added red under the eyes because i think that's cute but uh yeah so it kind of uh it's really bright around the moon and then kind of just more normal like the further away it is yeah so that you know it has that bit of a halo to it and then this spot felt empty, so I put some text. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it's a picture, baby. Um, I like the halftone yeah. uh, sort of outer glow on yeah, the Yeah, that's just another auto action I downloaded. <laughs> I'm doing this fun thing where I'll just download anything that's free, like any asset that's free, and I'll be like, I'll find out what it is when I need it. <laughs> <laughs> So no, You're gonna I don't know how to fuck do that. around and find a out. A button does it for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love finding out. That's art, baby. That's I art, love baby. to just mess around. It's so fun, and um, I don't have it on this file, but I did like further like crispify this image and kind of add more contrast and stuff uh, before I posted it. But I, I liked how this one came out. Yeah, it's great. It, it's not much of a background, but like. I, I thought I thought I did a good job, but it's like totally enough. Even though I enough. didn't draw yeah. the candy, I, I thought the candy was a nice touch because it kind of fills up all that blank space. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and they also just kind of like fade into the background because they don't have the same sort of like line weight as the characters, so it's fine. Yeah. I feel um, like when you're doing a background, you just want to have enough that no one notices yeah, that it's weird. That that was like the visual I wanted to do and then like didn't have time to do which was like background <laughs> work yeah um because I just I just like don't enjoy doing backgrounds no uh, <laughs> sorry but um it's always really fun and interesting to like find that balance between um like you know the focus and like you know your characters want to be the focus but you don't want to just have them like in a void all the time so you have to kind of like do your best because i drew backgrounds for hawkeye pi maybe i can see if i have any good examples in hawkeye pi yeah i forgot about that <laughs> i'm good at what i do uh what else do i have it does suck to do though it's just really hard i get to and that it's... point and i'm like Ugh. yeah and it's one of those things where it's just like, you don't want them to be too different because then they'll look weird. Yeah. But you don't want them to be too same because then your characters will look weird because they, will, they won't stand out. But, you know, again, it's all about intent. Uh, what else do I have? Okay, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, this is a drawing I did that I like, oh, but it's baby. not, it, you know, it's kind of flat. It's Van Zeke's my favorite racist vampire. It's Julia's boy. It's Julia's boy, um, but uh, yeah, he's so pretty. But I wanted to do this as kind of like, like I touched on this in my whatchamacallit in my color and value class, but um, uh, a fun thing to fix in post is just like go go bonkers, bazonkers with the lighting. <laughs> I love that because, you know, uh, it's all about compositional stuff and where you want to look. And so 
I just love doing a lot of lighting. So I, I came up with a couple examples of stuff because this is just like my drawing. It's nice. It's it's a nice drawing. Um, I like how his eyelids look in it, but you know, there's not a lot going on in it. Uh, clearly the focus is kind of like in the eyes because he's like making eye contact with you, the viewer, your name. Me? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, no way. You. Yeah, you like walked into this empty room and this is how you found him. <laughs> um, but uh, so I wanted to do kind of like a really dramatic version where the focus was like on the eyes, but it's like real spooky. So I like did this multiply layer where it has Whoa. like the really like dramatic kind of like right over the side of his face. Yeah. Ignore that. I didn't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not important. And, um, and just, uh, and like, I kind of just faded out at the top here cause there's nothing going on there. Uh, so I made that really dark. So it's just kind of like nothing yeah. <laughs> just being pushed it's the, the hell void. back. Yeah, get it there's out of here. There's nothing there. Don't look at it. Stop. <laughs> You're looking at his eye, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's just, this is you opening the door. This is your name. Yeah. You open the door and this is what you see. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, what is this? This is an overlay layer where I just kind of like added a little extra warmth to that uh, bright spot. And uh, also to where this red glass is kind of framing it. So it's kind of like the light is hitting like in this sliver very directly like over the eye but it's also kind of like there's a bit of red ambient light where this glass is yeah and, yeah so then it has this nice it has a warmth to it yeah totally but yeah so so then you go from this to this Except it would be more done because because <laughs> you would finish it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but you yeah. get it is the point. Yeah, you get it. I do like how this looks. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you. Um, but yeah. So and then my other thing I wanted to try is to make the hand and also the red glass kind of stand out. So this I also did by lighting and I used another multiply layer where I kind of like washed everything in blue and then like had like a little bit of shading on the hand. Oh, Cause cool. I think, cause my intent would be like, you kind of like see all the red first and then your eye kind of eventually finds the face and see the eye contact. Wow. Wow. So, uh, and then I did like more stuff. What did I do? Uh, this is another overlay where I kind of like popped the red and then sunk back a lot of the blue. So now there's like this extra glow to all of the red glass that you're seeing through. And um, so I guess in this one, the light is like coming from the left side of the picture. I don't know. So it's kind of hitting the hand and it's hitting this glass, but he's in shadow. It feels like when you switch between the two, the story is that like you opened the door from the front and saw him and then closed it. And then someone opened a door from the other <laughs> side. Oh, sorry. Saw it. Um, sorry. Oh, wrong room. Sorry. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, whoops. oh not, no, wrong door again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just going down a hallway opening you keep opening the, the door on him <laughs> and then i think i just added like one last layer that's a darkened layer and that one kind of like makes it so that the white point isn't white so if you put blue on the darkened layer all of the white turns blue right that makes sense yeah so this one i just used to kind of crush some of the really bright spots that i still had on like the head and chest so that it's all in the hand and then so your eye is being like drawn to the hand since like value wise it's like much brighter than everything yeah, else yeah. which is kind of flat and then also to the glass because it's this like red it's got a bit of spice to it yeah definitely so yeah it's cool to see like how different you can get the look yeah. of it just with adjustment layers yeah i love adjustment layers but yeah so this is this is your starting point and then depending on what kind of lighting you you set it to you can totally change the piece 
Uh, yeah, it depends on which door you open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, d d not again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's just laying silently in the room. Yeah, like on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, the other fun thing is because as much as I like this one, I, I truly just said, hell no, I'm not putting anything on this top fourth of the picture. I don't know why. So in both of them, it it adds a lot more to it because it has more of like a color variation and a value variation. So it looks less uh, less uh, unintentional. Yeah. <laughs> Fix your art more like a hide your mistakes. <laughs> Got them. Um, but yeah, and just just for good measure because I like how this one came out. This is the value uh, of that one, so it has all these brights just like right where I want you to look. Boom. You've fallen right into Karina's trap. Yeah, I've tricked you. Art's about trickery. It's about trickery. I make you look where I want you to look. You idiot. You don't even have a mind of your own, sheep, <laughs> sheep people. <laughs> you little sheep people. Um, I'm not like other yeah. people. I look right at the darkest spot first. Yeah, I look right at that hand I can barely see. <laughs> <laughs> I go straight up to the top left corner, stare yeah. at that. <laughs> yeah, that's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's my little uh, refresher on, hey, oh, you got this drawing done throw some lighting on it, you know, do go a little bonkers. Oh, I was like in the middle of something and then I like totally didn't do it. I wanted to do some fire stuff and I couldn't find the drawing I wanted to do. Like with, with fire? Huh? Stuff with fire or like some yeah, fire stuff? Yeah, I wanted to stuff. just set like my computer on fire because like this shit's about I'm to be so sick. fire. Yeah, this shit's lit. <laughs> And you're not ready for it. Oh man, I wanted to do it with that one good Leo drawing I had, but I like don't have it. Fuck. Where is he? Where is he? Why are my files such a mess? <laughs> Why don't I name things? Because <laughs> um, once a piece is done and posted, it's yeah, finished. It's dead. It goes to me. in the garbage I if now. I can do it really quickly. <laughs> I got time to kill. What the hell? Let's draw. Let's draw a little Leo Promare. My yeah, favorite full twink. full process. Let's go yeah. speed run. Leo oh speed run. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh no. Faster. Um, stop. <laughs> stop. You're scaring me. <laughs> I mean. I just I just like using him for fire because he's so pretty. And then and he he does he do the fire thing. Fire. He's got that little like bowl cut. This is like a baby. <laughs> Who is this child? <laughs> this was days after he was born. Yeah, he already was unhappy. <laughs> he was born mad. <laughs> I'm gonna do is spill my CC lemon. Mmm. Vitamin C. Oh yeah, there's I don't like this. Hairs. I don't like this at all. Let's just for example. I just wanted to do some like effects shit. It yeah. would have been really nice if I had the PSD for my good drawing on hand, but apparently I don't. <laughs> um this part doesn't can... even have to be good. Yeah, this is just, I just drew this for fun and now I've given up and I'm just gonna drag this in here because I like this piece a lot. And we're just gonna work on top of it because you know what, it's my draw class. It's mine. Yeah. It's gone now. If anyone just has kidding, a problem it with is. it, <laughs> click the X button on your yeah. browser. Yeah, because I just wanted to really do some like effects shit. This so. is what I want to see too, because you got that good effects shit. Yeah. And I want to know how you do it so I can see. This is already it. kind of half done. Because this is just like really sketchy. Um, there's like, you know, like a blue pink kind of overlay layer with like white light. I don't have the PSD, so I can't show you. <laughs> we're just we're <laughs> sort of guessing here. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure. I know my process. And um there's some overlay around this fire. 
So that's why it's kind of like that spicy red. But I feel like I feel like especially since I left the background so bright, we can mm. we can push it more. I love drama. Take it further. Yeah. And you know what has drama? Really intense lighting. So we're gonna do that, baby. Yeah, let's really fuck up this guy. This is now the reverse shot of the Van Zeeks piece. Yeah. yeah, this is who came into <laughs> the room. This is who came into the room. No. With the fire and lit up the scene. Yeah. Oh my God. It's oh, all connected. Weird. Okay. But yeah. Cause I feel I feel that you can just get real creative with your dramatic lighting. Like you can just get really dramatic. And who's going to tell you you're wrong? So and you're using a multiply gonna... layer right now. Yes. I just put a multiply layer on top of this flattened PNG. Since <laughs> someone's bad at file management, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I put it like this, whatever. This would be easier with a second multiply layer. <laughs> Why not? There's no yeah, limit. We're fixing this in post because I I said, yeah, having this on top of a really bright background really accentuates the light of the fire. No, you idiot. <laughs> That's the opposite <laughs> of what it does. Yeah, it just makes the whole piece look like needlessly bright. It's a really good piece, but it could have been better. Yeah, I do really if like the piece. You just had an extra thought. <laughs> Sirens are coming. Nice. They heard you didn't draw a background. Oh, shit. They heard the fire. <laughs> they heard the fire. <laughs> <laughs> the anime fire. No. But um, so now I'm just going to do a little face shading to really just like be extra. Um, yeah. I'm going to make this piece better. You thought it was a good piece before? You wait until I'm done with it. I'm better a, now. I drew this like happening. last spring. You were practically a child then. Yeah. I was just, I I just take break from uh, giving Raymond everything to uh, draw stupid little uh, Promare fan art. Didn't even do it right. So this is my this is me fixing it in post. So there's that. This version of the drawing is what Raymond took from you. Yeah, <laughs> Raymond. By demanding why? your time. <laughs> I had dreams, Raymond. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a little, little bit of this blue right here. Just really, really fuck it up. Yeah. I like this this process a lot. Yeah. Like sort of painting the overpainting process. Yeah, I'm just making this up. I think this class shouldn't have been called Fix It and Post. It should have been called Fuck Around and Find Out. We can uh <laughs> we can change the name before we yeah. post it. <laughs> um This is technically fixing it in post though. Yeah. I did this before. And now I'm going to do it again, but better. You're welcome. This is post. Welcome is to post. post. This is post now. What am I doing? What if I do another multiply layer? OK, I don't like that, actually. <laughs> Forget well, it. Delete the I other multiply layer. Because let's, let's instead turn this into a saturation layer and do this. I feel like the fire is not fire level fire it's it's not that bright the colors are bright but like the value isn't bright so yeah. i'm gonna fuck that up next because i can um yeah do it so when it comes to adjustment layers uh multiply is kind of your go-to for shading and um you can also do burn to like shade stuff i wonder how that's gonna look let's let's burn this a little Burn yeah. is a lot crispier than multiply. For sure. I, I do. It's it's got more like black to it. Just It's because it's like you're taking a torch yeah. to your drawing. 
Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I like this, but I might. I might do it a little. It's like, uh, yeah. Let's fuck it up. Yeah, because this isn't gonna make it any brighter. It's only gonna make it darker. <laughs> okay. Cool. But your light adjustment layers that I like to use are overlay. That's kind of like just leveling shit out. It, it doesn't. It doesn't fully like cover your line art or anything. It's just a nice color adjuster, but you can also use it for lighting in certain ways. Add screen. Screen is what I usually do. Add and dodge are what I do sometimes for uh, light, but screen is my go-to. I've been using dodge more now that I'm in CSP. It's a good lighting color. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking up exactly what the blending modes do. Yeah, we're gonna find out one of these days. I've done this a million it's not times. Gonna be me. But it never sticks in my but yeah. brain. So if I do it like that, then this looks so much brighter. And I like that. I'm also gonna add a little overlay to kind of like add a bit of blue. I guess it wouldn't make sense if I added it up here too. So, oh fuck. Oh shit. You ready to hear something that's not gonna make any sense? You know it. This is what it says the overlay layer does. Multiplies or screens the colors depending on the base color. Patterns or colors overlay the existing pixels while preserving the highlights and shadows of the base color. The base color is not replaced, but mixed with the blend color to reflect the lightness or darkness of the original color. Some like word problem shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and? <laughs> like, I don't know what that means though. This Make is why it it's simpler. hard to explain what these yeah. things do. You just find out by doing, I'm sorry. <laughs> just freaking do it and shut yeah. up. That's what I'm doing right now, right in front of you. You think I had a plan? You think I had a plan for this? No, I didn't even have the PSD. <laughs> <laughs> There's no plans here. This is fun because this is my second draw class that I haven't been like super prepared for, but since it's with Jacob, I feel like I can just be like really aggro about it and it sounds like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I support that. You're right um, to do it. I don't, I don't like how this is coming out, but it's on the right track. I just I think I forgot that the flame cool. goes all the way up here. Damn it. Ah, uh, geez. Uh, Freaking heck. fire. Always going up. Oh, that's because that's a burn layer. I'm stupid. <laughs> I said, yeah, let's put a burn layer in. And then I immediately forgot I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's artistic process. Yeah, I think it's safe to say, if you had to say like your most used types of adjustment layers. Overlay. Yeah, overlay. I, I use overlay for everything. Multiply. Overlay, multiply. I've been using glow a lot more lately. and Which I guess would also be like color dodge. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get real creative. I use hard light and soft light a lot too. I never know what soft <laughs> like Like soft light, sometimes I use it, but um, I feel like to me, it's just like, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well just use an overlay. They're very similar. Yeah, I think soft light has a more um, subdued. Yeah, it's more subdued. So if you just need like a little bit, you can use that. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want for this fire. I want it to be brighter. Destroy my eyes. Yeah, I want, I want it to look fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy as shit. Yeah, playing with this stuff is like fun though. Yeah, I'm having fun. That's why I'm not accomplishing anything. I'm just I'm just having fun right now. Okay, I don't know if this helped at all. <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do is do a bit more. What is this? I'm just trying to push these values more so that it looks even brighter. 
effects in the original it kind of looked not it looked very graphic and not quite like fiery fire's bright fire's like really bright yeah. actually that's the thing i don't know about if you it. guys knew this <laughs> yeah um yeah i i looked at fire once and it was it was like a light source i looked right into it and i went ah yeah and i shielded my eyes i just wanted to reach kind of like the white without fully losing the color is all but yeah I think the reason I didn't commit to like really fucking up this fire is because I like this hand that I drew. The hand is <laughs> and I was really like, good. I'm not going to cover this hand. <laughs> <laughs> I review. The work you put into that hand. <laughs> Let it go, Karina. <laughs> Did you use a hand ref for this hand? It was my hand. <laughs> I was about to say. I this... think I took a, like a selfie yeah. of my hand. It looks like a classic example of taking a picture of your own hand. Yeah. I don't, I think the other thing is that this fire down here just looks stupid. So we shouldn't focus on it. <laughs> <laughs> crop the image. Yeah. That's another thing you can do to fix your art. Crop it. Crop out the thing you don't like. And <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> um... I do. I do have like those spicy drawings of loose I did a few weeks ago. I don't remember when this was. It was a while ago, I guess. But um, little do people know is that those I, I fully cropped out like the parts of the body I didn't finish drawing. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they do know because of course, of course I didn't. <laughs> I mean, if you crop them out, they're no longer part of the drawing and thus yeah, the exactly. drawing is finished. pushing this back I just think it's fun to be really like zany with your values push more more values yeah I'm, I'm just recently um doing doing my value checking more frequently yeah because it really makes a huge difference especially if you're doing some like zany light source shit like this it's gonna look weird, yes, but like that's how it's supposed to look as well. <laughs> Just be strong. You'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think too, like um, a place where a lot of people get hung up and understandably so, is that when you make like a big swing on a piece, it's gonna look like crazy to your eyes. Yeah. Straight away. But you have to like give yourself time to sort of adjust. Yeah. To what you're I doing. Feel, Don't get too scared like, of it. Yeah. When I did this piece, like, of course I did it a certain way. Like I didn't, I didn't put, you know, really burn this fire and made it a lot more graphic because I think I was like kind of scared by that. I didn't want to cover the hand that I worked so hard on. Um, but I'm a different person now. And I think, I think it needs to be way more bright you have forgotten your fear yeah and now you exist only for contrast yeah i love and contrast. revenge are there any of these brushes <laughs> what is what is this Ew. oh that's g-pen <laughs> you know you know g-pen yeah so i added more of this blue because it'll make the white look spicier Always put blue in your fire. It'll look nice. That's some words from Uncle Karina. Just, yeah. It does look nice. Yeah, because you can already tell, like, <laughs> peel all this shit back, and it's already got a lot more drama to it uh, than originally. Oh, yeah, for sure. Ignore that part. <laughs> don't look at it it's gone now you can't look at it <laughs> look at what there was nothing there <laughs> what are you talking about oh, i also just took like the smallest png <laughs> i love uh creating but 
<laughs> yeah, so because that that's where we started, and then we ended up just. It looks more bright now. I don't yeah. know if it's better, but it looks different. The original <laughs> one looks like it would be in like an art book. It'd be yeah. like the character art in an art book. And then the yeah. new one looks like it's part of like a piece in an environment. Yeah, the original is, uh, yeah, you're right. The original is a lot more just like, this is the character. These are the colors. It's got a little bit of contrast. But then you go full like zoom. Completely it looks more like a light source, yeah, because it didn't look like a light source before. Not yeah, re not fully. So, yeah, this yeah. looks really cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, what else do I got laying around? I brought up this piece because I like oh, this piece, yeah. but I also have a lot of mistakes on it, and it was also like a really quick sketch, so we couldn't prove it together. If you'd like, I would love that. Because one thing, hey, here's a fun, fresh art tip. Um, if you ever want to like see all the mistakes in your drawing, just post it online. Because <laughs> the second other people see things, like you'll see, like other people have just eyes on it, you'll see it. Like how York's arm is like really short. Because <laughs> uh, go back to my oh, two yeah. anatomy classes that I did, and you'll see. I, I don't know what happened. I just fully It is, isn't it? Yeah. See, I would not be... have I would not have really thought about it. Yeah. Uh it's like it's like I said, good art advice from my good wood shop teacher, Mr. Woods. You don't point out your own mistakes. Cause then that's when other people will really see them. But, but you, you can internalize did. it. <laughs> you just did it's for it. education it's for education they're Other, gonna know i've known this whole time and i didn't say anything because mr woods wouldn't have been happy with me so uh but since we're teaching here so i'm just gonna poke poke these out uh but yeah you can you can kind of see how it's supposed to be <laughs> it needs to be longer i don't know why i made it so short sometimes when you're looking at a piece for too long like if you're just doing it in one sitting you'll just start to like it's it's like i said it's all mind tricks your brain's gonna be like i think that's good enough yeah like i've been looking at it this whole time and i know like what it's supposed to look like so i think that's fine but it's not fine take breaks from your art It'll help. Yeah, it's really Otherwise, true. you'll end up with short arm York. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to do that whenever I'm doing like speed draws yeah. and stuff, just to like I think, step away. I think this one I just did really quick, and uh, you know, because I posted it in our like in our group chat before I posted it on Twitter, and like when I posted it in the group chat, gr <laughs> Grandma's beard was like half colored because I completely <laughs> missed it. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking up grandma's beard. Um, I feel like Rose is like I, I think I deleted the sketch of this, so there's no point going back, only forward. But her anatomy is kind of weird too. This is what happens when I draw too many characters. It's only three, it's only four. That's a lot though. Yeah, it's it's because her skirt's kind of short and the belt would be more here. Something I often forget is that each character you add to your piece multiplies the drawing time yeah. by the amount of characters <laughs> like yeah, if you draw two thought? it takes literally twice as long it doesn't feel yeah. like it should but it does why are we like this why are we like this jacob i don't know why did i not name my layers <laughs> okay this why is would ln you? so i know that's line it's not even here i'm just gonna i i color my layers like i color tag them but i don't name them so we're gonna we're gonna clean this up real quick. I don't remember what brush this is. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, actually, it might be real G pen. Yeah, probably. It's close uh, enough. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I need to adjust this a bit down. The brushes in CSP look so nice. Really do. I'm living my best life. What is? Hello. Okay. Is that what's all, is that it? Okay. <laughs> is that the whole layer? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't, it, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, so I, cause I read Linder, I feel like the belt should be like more down here or the skirt line. 
I don't know. This is the this is the problem of having characters who wear like really high waisted cuts. Is that if you like don't do the whole thing correctly, it just makes it look like they have a really short torso. <laughs> yeah, totally. And uh, yeah, so I think I I wanted to show that she had a bit of leggy, but I don't think the leg would actually show up that much in this. And that's probably why York's arm ended up short. Yeah, because probably you, the belt is really high. And you probably were like, oh, it's probably like mid thigh. Where yeah, the coat why did is. you do that, Jacob? <laughs> I like how it looks. <laughs> why did you do that to me? Now I gave him a short arm. <laughs> and everybody noticed. Yeah, no one noticed yeah. except me. And now I pointed it out for the world to see. So that, this is just really sketchy. So I don't have to make it look nice. Oh, man. I erased the hand. I could have used that hand. Yeah, you could have kept the hand. <laughs> Uh, but I did, and it's too late. <laughs> so that would be more correct. I'm going to flare that out a bit so it's not touching grandma's hat. It is so close to grandma's hat. That's the downside of it being there. Yeah, well, maybe that's why I didn't put it there. I was like, no. Yeah. Sometimes was, you got to make choices sub, like that. It was a subconscious thing of just like, it's that or tangent. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're not drawing good hands today. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, but it is tangenting now at the end of the coat, so we're going to just, sure, whatever. Um, but yeah, so that that's a little lesson called uh, don't look at your art for too long or else you'll post it with a really like glaring anatomy problem. If and then you you'll have to just it, internalize that for months. <laughs> if you look at it too long, a ghost will come out and curse you. Yeah, so you can already see. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of his former arm. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're dead. Um, the way I colored this was like a fun little experiment, but... Uh, I really I, like how it looks. Thank you. But I forgot. Not only did I forget how I did it. Is there white on this? No. I fully just like masked it in, but uh, I feel like if I really wanted to, because my initial intention, uh, Whoa, yep, evil version, <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that they're like in the foreground, and that's why they're kind of in shadow. And then the focus of the drawing would be Eugene, because he's like, ooh, yeah, yeah, he's so mysterious. So uh, this was just a really quick sketch, but I feel like if I really wanted to, I could uh, really push that further. Let me fix this stupid arm. So is that going to be our post project to like push the lighting? I think so. Why yeah, not? I like that. What else are we going to do with the next uh, 40 minutes? Am I right? Just talk shit, I guess. Yeah. Who do we want to talk shit about? Oh, I don't know. Who should we talk shit about? Probably like other artists. Yeah. Um, people in our industry. Yeah. Name an artist that we know personally that you hate. <laughs> oh, where, where to begin? Yeah. Haha. -ha, it is a joke, but a jest. <laughs> don't do that, kids. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out people like you better in your industry if you don't uh, talk shit on them. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, con constant. Occasionally. <laughs> occasionally is fine. Yeah. Okay, there it's all fixed. I should I should just fill this in. I don't know. There's enough art for everyone. I was trying to go for kind of like that marker manga kind of look with like the really white highlights. Marker plier? <laughs> marker plier. Oh yeah, marker plier. <laughs> that marker plier look. Yeah, that. No, I said marker. Marker, marker. plier. No, stop. <laughs> Not that. Stop. <laughs> I said stop it. Is this an orc <laughs> version of marker plier? Is this marker plier? <laughs> Mark R <our> plier. <laughs> uh, 
Someday we're going to have him on the show. We're going to have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, we're going to, he's going to think that we're assholes. And I'll be like, <laughs> no, Mark, Mark Replier. No, Mark Replier. You're so, you're so handsome. You're so funny. <laughs> Don't hate us. <laughs> <laughs> we're just little guys. We're just little guys. <laughs> you're so big. Yeah. You're like seven feet tall and so strong. Okay. What I am going to do is keep the white on the side where Eugene is because he'll have like the light source. Oh, yeah. Mom said it was his turn with the light source. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks shocked by it. I get a light source. I get a turn with a light source. <laughs> Am I mommy's little man? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I think about draw detectives, I think about how crazy it is, how little of the season everyone has seen. That's true. They haven't even seen episode three yet. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That, that'll be out soon enough. Soon, yeah. Okay. Okay. And it's like we've seen so much of it because we've yeah. lived it. Yeah, we were there. We're we're living in the future. Yeah. You're so 2000 and late. I hate to say it, but it's true. <laughs> Why did Grubhub just send me a push notification telling me to see Charlie Puth live? Um, maybe he has your food. <laughs> Charlie, do you have my food? <laughs> See him live. Because if you don't, he'll die with your food in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know how to get to me. He needs your help. He's out there in the cold. Whatever. I'm going to assume I did that on purpose. Yeah. Probably you Erase. did everything on purpose. Uh, yeah, but it never really makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Block it Just all in. Going in, going on here. Why? 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 What? <laughs> what the hell? That shouldn't even be colored in at all. Rina, you are so fucking stupid. <laughs> I hate you. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> you bully yourself live on stream. Yeah, that's what I do. It's part of my charm. <laughs> what else am I gonna do? Bully others? They're not even here to defend themselves. That's true. So where's grandma's highlights going to be? I guess at the top. Yeah, top That was only. the other thing I forgot to do. I put this like dot on the nose. I was like, okay, that's my signal to myself to like fade in this nose color. And then I didn't do it. It's just a circle. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be like that. <laughs> that's my secret. <laughs> I thought it was a stylistic choice. Yeah, and you thought wrong. How does it feel to be so incorrect? <laughs> I feel like a dumbass, to be honest Damn. with you. Damn. F's in the chat for Jacob. Too thought stupid. I did something on purpose. I would never do something on purpose. This is what I get for trusting my friends. Yeah, I don't practice what I preach. I, I give you guys all the good advice, and then it like drains out of my head like like a fluid. And then you just run around like a dumbass. Yeah, exactly. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Nothing, because we all do the same thing. <laughs> exactly. I wish I had more finished line art so I didn't have to do this all by hand. <laughs> yeah, but the line art in this one looks so cool. Thank you. I thought so too, but now I'm doing this all by hand. <laughs> Have you seen those things where you can use like the, the lasso to like lasso a whole section and it'll like fill in? Oh, this thing? Do you have that thing? Yeah, kind of like Actually, that. It kind of works. 
Okay, okay. Wow. Wow. Me I have that. It's still it's still gappy, but it'll do. But it's doing something. It's doing it's doing. Look at that. Thanks, Jacob. You're, You're the welcome. best. <laughs> I didn't even I wasn't even wow. intending for you to use it. I just had you seen got it the recently. Tetris. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no like i said i'll download anything that's free you wouldn't download a car i i mean i would if it was free <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't use it for anything because i can't but i would because i have standards <laughs> i forgot like half of our squad does, doesn't know how to operate a motor vehicle yeah, you wouldn't want me operating a motor vehicle, but if I could just get a free car, I'd get it for the, for the heck of it to say I did. We are not the same. Me and Julia are <laughs> big Chad car drivers. I, I think, I think I'm the biggest Chad of all because I can legally drive, but I can't intellectually drive, so... <laughs> I like they'd let me drive. I just don't know how to. And I'd say that's a power move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it's empowering, but yeah, it's it empowering is a move. me. <laughs> Maybe it's definitely a move. <laughs> it's definitely um, a move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a good draw class just because I get to talk with you. <laughs> that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Yeah, hold on to it, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to put that one in a locket and wear yeah. it around my neck. <laughs> and then when I die, like my grandchildren will open the locket and be like, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Karina? Yeah, what? <laughs> Unless, of course, we're all still doing Droppy when we're, like, about to die. <laughs> yeah. Which can is be entirely like possible. Old YouTubers. And by entirely possible, I mean definitely not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Unless. <laughs> yeah, don't hold us to it. But also, you never know. You never know. I'm not psychic. Drafi could end at any moment, and everyone needs to be prepared for that at all times. Yeah, that's life. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> We're mean. <laughs> okay, here, here's this. Um, what we're gonna do since this is kind of obsolete is that I I duplicate the color layer. Yep, and then I do. Well, I guess I don't have to do that. I could just clip the layer now that I learned how to do that, but I already duplicated it. Wait, what did I just do? Okay. <laughs> you duplicated it. Well, no, I, I did something else on accident. And um, so it'll look like, oh, cool. I have lots of gaps in the background too. Damn, she's <laughs> no good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe like that. Ooh. That's looking pretty nice. Yeah, I like that. You can see all the parts I didn't color in. Makes it really obvious. Yeah, more than ever. Well, I guess, I guess it, it's those white parts. <laughs> well, I'll just fill those in. Because I really want him to be, I want this guy to be the focus. This and guy. Oh, cool. Oh, actually, I'm just a fucking dumbass. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just left out a big chunk of York's arm. Yeah, it's like it's like the same shit I did with Grandma's beard. <laughs> hey, kids. Stop spending so long on your art. Why do you do that, huh? Just go fast. Yeah. Maybe I can... Is this... Didn't paint the unfilled area, it painted the whole area. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
Thank you. Wow, it's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing. It's doing. It's doing. It's kind of, it's trying to do. It's, yeah, it's doing as best it can. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, why do you keep giving me this line art that has no, <laughs> like, closing? <laughs> I hate you, mom. <laughs> I didn't even do. know. Is this a sub tool you downloaded or does it come? This just came with it. What a good sub tool. Yeah, it's, it's really handy enough of the time. Whatever. Let's just do that. I don't care. No. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Is this going to be happy accidents? Do I want it to fade? Is that, is that weird? It might be nice on the faces. Yeah, I feel like a little bit of it is would be cool. Yeah. Let's let's see. I didn't even fill in that top part. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Sick of this shit. Probably ain't even the focus of the picture. I like that. It gives a little more to their faces. Yeah. I don't want to lose the faces too much, but I do want it to like be darker. And then that way you can't tell where I fill bucketed. <laughs> this picture... We love to cover our mistakes. <laughs> This picture kind of looks like Eugene was getting bullied. And, then... <laughs> and, and your name tried to step in and they turned around <laughs> and were like, what? <laughs> oh, here I thought your name was bullying Eugene and they stepped in to defend him. Oh, I thought. <laughs> and they're staring you down. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they are the bullies, like you said. Who knows? Who knows oh, the that's true what I narrative? Thought you meant. <laughs> <laughs> it works both ways. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's whatever you want. Cause which which way is purple? Because if Ooh, he a is, shift. yeah, if he is yellow, then maybe they should be more purple, so that we got that nice contrast. Ignore the gaps in the background, please. <laughs> Those aren't there. <laughs> Those aren't there. You're you're stop it. You're wrong. Mmm, vitamin C. That is okay. That's white highlights. I'd know this if I named my layers, but I didn't. <laughs> you know, there's not time for that when you're in the moment. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is throw some light on this boy. It's a good light to throw. First of all, let's not make it puke green. <laughs> <laughs> um I feel like this is less of a draw class and more of just watch Karina do her process uh, in in real time and be like, okay, okay, Karina. <laughs> well, this was like the the point of it. Yeah, is to are see you, this stuff you make, the you decisions you it? make at the what? end of the process that oh, inform. God damn it, he's on the same line layer. <laughs> now why did I do that? <laughs> Eugene, what are you doing there? <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can carefully extract him. Just kidding. It's gonna be messy. Uh, whatever. Get him I don't out. Care. I don't care. Release this our boy. Things messy. Get out of there. What are you doing in there? Fetch messy his is lines. part of my style. Here's a fun art tip. Just be like, oh, it's messy on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> drop your shit on the floor. <laughs> yeah, and then drop all your shit on the floor in and, front of whoever you're telling that to. And run away while they're distracted. Yeah, you can just do that. Like, art is fake. <laughs> <laughs> folder. <laughs> and then I'm going to even name the folder Yugi. <laughs> Yugi. Yugi. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? I'm not making that a soft light. Whoa, Lord. no. Yeah, blow him out. Goodbye. <laughs> He's burning in the sun itself. Um, uh, what's a good adjustment? Maybe this isn't the right yellow. What the hell is this? Brightness. Get out of here. Um, maybe, maybe more of a gold? The golden hue. Ugh. 
This is the part where I just pick random adjustment layers without looking and just see what looks nice. An important part of the artistic process. You have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I like whenever he just gets completely obliterated. <laughs> 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 that's how hard we bullied him i'm actually just gonna do this now gonna clip this to just him bullied him so hard he became an angel <laughs> he went straight to heaven <laughs> <laughs> there so now he's a little a little further back um yeah this is looking cool yeah, I like I like this. I should have done this the first time instead of whatever I did. I don't know. <laughs> well, what you did was also cool. Oh, thanks. But this is cool too. <laughs> you can do two cool things. Uh, actually, I feel like this is a bit dark. Blast him out! Heaven. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Go get. <laughs> if you love him. Let him go. We can't take care of you anymore. Yeah. You're crying. It's not safe here, Eugene. I do have to remember what has and hasn't been released. Yeah, no spoilies. Yeah, I'm trying. Say nothing. I'm going to I'm going to burn this yellow light a little bit just to just to fuck it up. Get it. Yeah. Get it. So that's. What is. Th Where is this? Hello? <laughs> oh, okay. It's my nope. favorite when you can't find it. <laughs> nope, it's, it's not like on that one layer. one little blob, hey, and you're like, which how layer did I. Is... Oh. Okay, it's on, it's on this layer. Yeah, get it out. Yeah, I cast ye out too. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> you too, you little. Okay, there we go. What did this look like before? Oh boy, I can't wait to find it in all my unnamed files. <laughs> Don't be like me, kids, because then you'll be doing this shit live on stream. Hmm. Where is it? I am going solely by thumbnail. Show yourself. Why did I do this to myself? What did I name it? Oh, I have the name right here. It's F -f 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 two. Copy. Yeah, you named it Keyboard <laughs> Smash. Yeah, I named it Keyboard Smash Copy. Um, nope, not that one. This one. Because that's what it looked like before. And then I made it better. Yeah. It I really does have better. like two different vibes. Like Yeah. The the original one's got like big manga cover vibes to me. Yeah. And I think this one is the vibe I initially was going for where it's a bit mysterious. Yeah, it's really cool. Thank you. This is good shit. It's good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I love these characters. Now that episode two is out, you can you can understand why our characters are a little uh, concerned. <laughs> why they're a bit on edge. Yeah, and and now York has the correct length arm. Yeah, finally. Yay! Good for him. He deserves it. Uh huh. I and, think that's everything. And I he's have, got like... them big Rob Leafield pecs. Yeah, it's important to me. I'm in my titty drawing era, Jacob. <laughs> People will look back do. someday. <laughs> yeah, and... you can portion off like yeah. my artistic eras, and this is the titty drawing era. Yeah, which is different from the Hanzo era, mind you. Yeah, um, distinctly so. Yeah, I'll put them on anyone. So uh, yeah, that's kind of all I had ready. <laughs> well, we got 15 not... minutes left. Yeah, what should we do? Do you have anything? This is the part where I rely on you. <laughs> where you rely on me. Oh, God, no. Um, We're a team. We're a team, buddy. Pick up my slack. <laughs> I mean, we can see if anyone has a, a piece they would want. Yeah. They would want you to just like do this sort of thing to. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> just like do it. Do it just to do him. Just do it. I got to do it to him. Um, yeah, from those of you that are here, if you have a piece you'd like for Karina to, yeah, or just post, questions, uh, 
questions too. Yeah. We can do all of that. I don't know if you've been fielding any questions uh, this whole time. I've not been paying attention. Hell yeah. Yes, <laughs> King. <laughs> Love your lack of energy. <laughs> I feel like I'm being extra sassy. I'm sorry. It's because I've been talking to Spencer a lot. Spencer is sassy. It really rubs off on you. Oh, my God. You've I just noticed playing... that so many people did my homework from last time. Yeah. Well, did you not see that? I've been looking at that every day. Yo. This is yeah. awesome. I Look didn't, at all your homework. You I, said I you'd do look. a homework check. Wow. <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot about this, and I didn't look. Jeez, what an asshole. <laughs> This is great. I love it. Um, okay, let's, what's going on? Yeah, Zappy, post whatever. Zappy, what's, post. What's going on? <laughs> Give us a post. Ah. Please, I only prepared so much and I feel like I touched on nothing this whole time. I think it's been good. I feel like there's a lot Thank of good you. information in here. If I got anything out of this is that I really like my Van Seeks. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That's worth something. Who is the new gene? Dang, that looks rad. Oh, this is pretty. So do you want me to like do a little crit on this? Is that okay with you? Zap. B. Uh, oh, we, and there's a second yeah, one. Yeah, we got another okay. one from Zandrew. Okay. Zandrew Burt. Oh, what a gang. That's, that's a hell of a gang. <laughs> okay, I can look at those too. Yeah, know, we'll, we'll, we'll do those others. and then, and then um, that'll be it. Okay, Zappy wants lighting advice. This is so good, Zappy. Yeah, this is really oh, good. Oh, I love all his piercings. Um, the collar too, the celestial yeah. collar. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of like tell already since this is basically in grayscale and just, hello, okay, it's because I'm on a racer. That would make a lot of sense. Good work, Karina. <laughs> just erase really, it. You're really killing it today, girl. <laughs> first thing you're going to want to do is erase it. Yeah, first thing you're going to want to do, what am I doing? Why is, it's because it was set to color. <laughs> <laughs> So already, um, just at a glance for lighting effects. And I don't know if you're doing this on purpose. Do feel free to like bother me if I am just kind of like stepping on your toes with the intent here. But um, a lot of your uh, val like, it's, it's another thing of just like, if you want to just get real like zany with lighting, just feel free to push the values like a lot. Because just looking at it now, you have a lot of kind of like darker end of the spectrum values, but uh, your lightest colors are not white. Uh, they're like not quite there. So already like my instinct would be like in the eyes to kind of like add a bit of white. Like you can you can just like go a little higher with your value range. Because um, I think right now it's uh, that that's kind of it. You have like the dark all filled out, but you can uh, push the light a little bit for any of these brushes. Uh, Zappy said the goal is to have the collar be the only light source. Okay, smart. But even even so, like. Plus. Again, I firmly believe in just like making shit up. And if uh, if you feel like uh, you just want to take artistic liberties with the lighting, like light bounces all sorts of weird places. So I'd argue you could have a little like there. And even maybe a little right here. Make it Not pop. Much. Yeah. You can just put light wherever you feel like it is the thing. It's just, you know, wherever feels right. But yeah. Because I think even in the collar, like, you don't have any, like, bright light. So I think maybe that's why it's not, like, fully, uh, totally reading as a light source. 
is because uh, even the lights in the collar aren't like that contrasty uh, to like uh, the rest of it, if that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Wow, thanks, Chico. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I understand completely. Yeah. But yeah, because I'm doing this with a paintbrush, so it's not even like fully like powering up the white and stuff. But I feel like you could like push that uh, lighter range of your values just even even more. Because since you have like such good dark values laid out, like the light will really like uh, really make everything pop really nicely. Yeah, I agree. And also because I'm looking up at the uh, the little like live window occasionally, mm -hmm. you you can really tell a difference when you see it like small. It really like yeah. defines all of the the boundaries really well. I'm gonna go in with just a hard hard pen. Really, really highlight the edges because there's really just like no pure white in any of this, and that's. When in doubt, especially when you're doing like uh, like grayscale drawing and painting, uh, you use that pure white to like really uh, show where the light is hitting directly. But yeah, because you don't fully need it everywhere, but on the surfaces that are like closest to what is the light source you can you can just have like some nice white spots and it'll look really pretty and yeah i'm gonna assume that's a little metal so we can have just the slightest but yeah yeah because i i think i think you should like use white pretty sparingly in a general sense but when you're when you're especially trying to do like dramatic lighting don't shy away from just like doing it and uh, what else would I want to do with this? I think the other thing would be kind of like popping the uh, oh yeah, totally lights of the collar a bit more. Uh, really, sort of get that glow vibe. Yeah, because if this is the light source, then uh, oh, what we're not gonna what do happened? is that. <laughs> I I hit the tab. <laughs> Don't mind me. So, cause the way I, the way I'm reading it is that the light is coming from like these folds and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So you're going to want to really accentuate like the stars and things so that it's clear like that's where the light is and then it's like hitting the skin. Zappy asked what you were doing to brighten the stars. Uh, this is just an overlay layer. So um, With a soft brush. this is just a, yeah, I'm using like the airbrush and um, a hundred percent overlay. I just throw down some white where I want it to like brighten up. And then I also put down some dark, dark blue on the edges to kind of push that back a little. I would even maybe do another one. That's a normal layer. I'm a genius just to really show how shiny that is. And it can really like, really kiss up to that skin. And then the skin can like have all that white in it. And then that light also kind of bounces up here. So yeah. Yeah, that's looking that, so cool. If that makes sense. That's... Yeah, if, I hope that was enlightening. <laughs> Can we get a layer off, layer on sort of look uh, at? Yeah, so this is where we started. And then we like add in some of that white, add in them overlays, and then add in just an even push that light a little bit more. And that's also just an overlay. And it already looks more glowy, I think. Yeah, it's got that nice contrasty <laughs> pop that makes you really yeah. get the glow vibe. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yay! Um, what is the other one? And the other one is from Messi Zandrubert. Messi Zandrubert. Drop that in here. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but you you said that you thought it looked flat. So let's value check. When in doubt, value check. I said... Oh, it's set to this layer. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was me being silly. Uh, beep. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just that there's... Uh, not really like a foreground, midground, background going on here. You have like a wide range of characters who are all just like all very colorful and like different stuff going on. So this one, this one's a bit of a challenge. Also, your line art is not black. So that also, yeah, there are parts like uh, right here where your, your line art's actually lighter than the colors uh, used on the characters. And I feel like that kind of also is like, Vis like not visually confusing like there's like very um like if that's your intention like of course you can do that but i think it makes it look like very much uh cartoony in a way if that's one way of putting it so uh let me let me think what are they doing uh uh well when in doubt let's let's do some contrast Okay, okay, that doesn't help at all. Thank you. Um, I'm just doing this to kind of poke around and see. Yeah, I think it's because you have like brown, yeah, brown line art, and then these like kind of darker colored characters, like the dark purple and stuff. And that's kind of just like visually, uh, I don't even know, like kind of unnatural looking. So maybe that's like why it doesn't feel like there's a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, blah, 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 volume to anything. Yeah. And, but I feel like, like that's okay to do. So I think maybe um, something you can consider to kind of like keep this very stylized, but also um, like, just uh, add more stuff is that I can see that you've done some shading on your characters, but it's like very close in value to um, to the original colors that are being used. Like here on Shino, I can see like right here, it would be great if I used a better color actually. Genius, even better if I used red, perfect. Like right here, I can see like this is the light and this is the dark, but they're really, really similar. Yeah. L literally, it's like kind of difficult to tell. Like you can kind you can tell better on the purple since that's like a deeper color, but um, even like on the turt wig, like this is the light, this is the dark. They're like almost the same color and value, and like right here. So I think I think the move here. <laughs> is um maybe just uh pushing the shadows a bit more um that's a good pencil yeah because especially when it's all these characters kind of huddled together and interacting uh there's gonna be a lot of uh a lot more like shadow going on and like shape because how does how does what's his name topstricity go it has like it was like a <laughs> weird chin. <laughs> yeah. So, because then it's like that, and then it's like kind of uh, going over Pietro in a bit. So he'd be more in shadow. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Yeah, I feel like so, I'm running into an issue visually too, which I don't know exactly how to fix. But yeah. because like my eye is drawn to the bright parts first. Yeah. And then the characters are like made up of these really dark purple parts and these really bright yellow parts. It can be like mm -hmm. difficult to parse at a glance. Yeah. With, with, like where the character starts and ends. Yeah. Like, and I think part of that is just can be fixed by like pushing the shading more. Yeah, I think that definitely helps. Because, yeah. goodness. Uh... Maybe like, so then Turtwig kind of is like, it's a bit more clear spatially. Uh, and then this one. Yeah, darkening up some of those yellows that would yeah. be in shadow helps draw attention to the 
yeah the middle of their face yeah because i think there's just like a lot of colors going on here um and the shading is like you got to be brave with the shading yeah, when for you, sure. Especially when you have like a lot of characters together cause, and they're like touch like, you know, touching each other and like in like sharing the same space cuz that'll really inform like the helping out and stuff. On a complimentary level, I do want to say you did a really good job with like the character likenesses. Yeah. Now this is such a cute thing. <laughs> I love this friend group. I can't Every imagine how they would all one. hang out together. <laughs> all right, so if this is the Drawfee crew, who's who? Um, Nathan is the Turtwig. Yeah? <laughs> Does that seem right? Who's the clown? Is that me? I wasn't going to say it. I felt like I've been... I've been very sassy to you today, so I wasn't going to say that was you. But it, it is, might be you. I think. Even though I want to <laughs> be the toxicity. Then who's the toxicity? I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough one. <laughs> can I be Shino? Yeah, you can be Shino. I feel like I'm Shino, especially in this context. I'm just, I'm just here. Maybe Nathan's the frog in the front. What's the frog's name? I don't I don't know. Nathan is the front frog. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm the toxicity cuz no one else is here to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have that one <laughs> since I told you not to fuck a pumpkin today. <laughs> <laughs> and then brought it back up. Yeah. Yeah. Since I did those things, yes. I've earned this. <laughs> you deserve it this one time. But yeah, because I think, I think already that's like kind of pushing things a bit. Yeah, it definitely so is. Then. It's just like dividing things up in a way that yeah. your eyes make more quick sense yeah. of it shape wise. Never, never be afraid to like push your values. Especially if you're doing digital, you can always take it back. Yeah. Um, but sometimes that's what you need to like really, especially when you're doing like a lot of characters, like, uh, let me, let me value check this real quick. Cause I feel like another thing is that with toxicity, this is all electric, right? Like this stuff. So you could probably like even light that a bit. Do I want to try that? Hmm. But we're also over five. Wow, I did it. <laughs> yep, we made it. We made it. Um, so I guess after you try this, we can call it. Yeah, because you could also like, right? Make it know. like a little light source. I'm doing this very dirty. But yeah, you you could push this as more of a light source as well if you think that would help like differentiate it and like give more form to the characters, I think. This is not a good example because I'm doing it really sloppy. But uh, yeah, I think I think you just need to be braver with your values. Always, who doesn't love drama in art, in lighting? Go for it. Hell yeah! But yeah, I think I think if you just keep working on like the values on top, that's the way. That's the ticket. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Yay! Yeah, we did okay. it. Yeah, another draw class. Another one for the books. <laughs> thank you, everyone who is a patron and attends these. Yeah, thank you so much. And um, of course, it'll be up on the YouTube channel next month. Mm -hmm. um, the one that I did last month should be up. It's a good one. Soon or today. Yeah. I don't know. Soon? Sometime? It'll uh, be there. Yeah. Keep Just keep an eye thinking, out. I guess it'll be there at the end of the month. That would make more sense. It'll be there at some point. We're on a weird schedule because of the holidays, but thank you everyone for yeah. being patient and supporting us. Yeah. And uh, obviously no stream next week because it's holidays. So we'll see yeah. you all later. Later. Bye. Bye.